So this is your... The Diocese of South Nkole is located in Tungamo district and it comprises of 250 sub-parishes, 54 parishes and 9 archdeaconeries and is overlooked by the Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, the Most Reverend Dr. Stephen Samuel Kazimba Mgalu. The diocese is under the leadership of Bishop Right Reverend Nathan Nahimbisiwe, who has served the Lord in this position since 2012. Right Reverend Ahimbisiwe hosted officials from the Housing and Community Transformation Directorate, including the Reverend Andrew Agaba, Director of HCT, Bishop James William Sebagala, the Chairman Board of HCT, and other officials. The diocese is largely engaging and investing in coffee growing, processing, and trading. In his remarks, Bishop Right Reverend Nathan Ahimbisiwe speaks about the agenda of the church to preach the gospel to the people and notes that for this agenda to come to fruition, money is a necessity. Right Reverend Nathan points out the need to utilize the available resources, like the church land, to generate income for supporting the gospel. His advice is backed up with evidence as he tells of South Ankole Diocese engaging highly in coffee as an example, detailing that the coffee that was planted years back is starting to yield great results. Uh, we want to thank God for the way he has been helping us, uh, especially in social economic development of the church. We preach the gospel and the gospel we preach needs money. As somebody said, money pushes the gospel. So we need money. And how do we get money? By utilizing the resources God has given us. And most of the churches in the Church of Uganda, we have big grants. And some of these big grants are idle. And others, other people have started grabbing them. So, but when you put economic developments, no one will come and steal your, 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 your coffee as we are doing. For us, we have started coffee growing and our coffee growing has expanded. At the diocese, we have now 23 acres, but we have also other acres in other dioceses. And we see this coffee, which we planted three years ago. Now it has started multiplying. I'm telling you, today, today we were packing sacks for selling, take them in the market. The other day we were doing the same, and much coffee is still in the chamber. And when we get this money, it does the great work of preaching the gospel. So my prayer is that we dioceses, all churches, both the sub-parishes, parishes, at the centers, but also at the dioceses, where we have land, we can utilize them, those who can, to do crops. You can do avocado has, you can do coffee, you can do macadamia, you can do cashew nuts, you can do other, other plants which are money generating. During the heavy rains of March this year, South Ankole Diocese used most of the church land to plant more coffee and the plants have already started flowering. Right Reverend Ahimbisiwe explains how much the diocese will be able to make by harvest time, considering one acre of land can harbor up to 166 trees each. If all goes well, the diocese is to make a little above 10 million shillings in their first harvest. Uh, if, if you are going to get uh, like uh, this time we, we are going to get over 50 million. If you are going to get 50 million and you spend 5 million on, on, on security and then you get your 45, did you lose? No. <laughs> so you invest in the, in the security so that you have it properly. But can you give them 5 million? No. no. Is, uh, but do you have such risk? Yes. They are, they are. Yeah, I am yeah. telling you people, if we close the eyes, people will come and, and harvest. <laughs> <laughs> coffee, it is 14 million maximum maximum yielding. Mm. So you see this, it is lucrative. They sure. call seeds of gold, by the way. Mm. But because people haven't known them, mm. we are still in the tradition, uh, traditional uh, uh, growing mm. of other crops. But we have also started this one, uh, recently planted 14 acres. In the year, in the rain of the sheep? No, not here. Here we have three. Okay. Uh, but others are in extension uh, places. But if this calculation keeps on, you people, you calculate by 10 acres from 99. Mm. 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 <laughs> South Ankole Diocese is home to a new factory, the South Ankole Coffee Center, that will deal in processing and separation of coffee husks, which will then be taken back to the fields or sold for a profit. 
Bishop Ahimbisiwe emphasizes the fact that there is no wastefulness when it comes to coffee, for even the husks are useful. The diocese is focused on value addition and the community will be transformed socio-economically to great levels in the near future. Especially when you go to value addition, by the time you get the, 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 the real coffee for drinking in the cup, mm -hmm. you have sorted out other five things which are also every stage you see and at a different cost. But here, when you don't have it, you just take the chiboko and they hurry it and they give you only one screen. Score off at 6,000. You go crapping and seeing that you have got money while from there they put it in the sorting machine. The sorting machine says this is screen 18. Uh, the cost of screen 18 is uh, 12,000. The one for 15 is uh, 10,000. Mm. So he gets the, the profit first before he does anything, <laughs> just by sorting. <laughs> Bishop Nathan Ahimbisibwe says the diocese contacted Uganda Coffee Development Authority, which sent over officials to sensitize them about how to get the coffee growing game right. The officials, together with the Director of Wealth Creation, brought projecting equipment and were able to assess how much product will be harvested, as well as an esteemed profit at the end of a few years to come, or even more. 19. And we called the people of your UCDA, Uganda Coffee Development Authority. What does it take to plant coffee? Uh, uh, and how much can you get per acre? And if you did big way, how much do you get? But we are having a decision council sitting in the next two weeks. Can you come and explain to them what is going to do and what can come out? With Wealth Creation Executive Director, with UCDA people, they came over here, got a projector, and projected how much per acre of coffee of five years and onwards. They said per acre you can harvest between 7 million and 14 million in a season. So if you have 10 acres, even if it is minimum 7 million, that is 70 million. If it is 10 acres and you get what we call minimum of 10 million per acre, how much is it? So the calculation was very clear. You first, we first became rich before we became rich, and then we are becoming rich. And 2019, we started registering, and in September of 2019, we planted this coffee you are seeing here. And of which, you, you match. we may not go down, but we march to the top. Then you see what happened. So this is a 2019 project. And 2020, we also added some. Now, money. Oh, even a bed you see, even the smallest is some money mm. in it. Abaganda mm. Banorogero, Lima Omani Osirke, Emani Terimba. That plant coffee and keep quiet. Coffee does not arrive. Rita Niramujisha, the diocese and treasurer of South Ankole Diocese, heaps praises unto God for allowing their first coffee harvest to be a large one after just three years of venturing in it. She also thanks the government of Uganda for the support rendered to the diocese and is hopeful for better projects in the near future. Happy that uh, in three years we are able to harvest uh, our biggest first harvest of coffee. We are grateful to God that just in three years we are able to harvest this massive harvest and we are sure that in the next five years our target or our plan will have been achieved. We are so grateful to God for this harvest and we, we are sure that in the next uh, season it will be more massive than it has been. The household and community transformation coordinators and the HCT leadership were inspired by the great achievements of South Ankole Diocese and thanked their host for a job well done. Bishop Ahimbisiwe also thanked God for a good climate that is able to allow the coffee thrive, even without irrigation. And the timing, God gave the press here. It, you can do coffee without even irrigation. Now for us in our area, we have a challenge. 
Mm. Friends, let me say this before we leave. Church of Uganda Household and Community Transformation received money through the government of Uganda under the NADS program. And part of that money in order to support the Diocese of South Ankole to strengthen their coffee project. We released 259 million and that's 259 million. Part of it is being has been used to raise this structure and the remaining part is going to be used to buy the coffee hara and the diocese will also add on other machines like the washing machine, the coffee washing machine, the sorting machine, the sorting machine, the, the value additional uh, property yes. uh, coffee machine. And now to have the full value chain completed. This is Church of Uganda Family TV. When time is gone.